Hello everyone, Ghoul here, and today we're going to be doing a review of actually quite a bit of different items here for keyboards. We're going to be going over the Novel Key, key, Novel key Cream switches, as well as a comparison of those against a Gateron Yellow and a Holy Panda, all lubed. With the Novel Key Creams, we're doing an unlubed version, a version with the Glorious G Lube, and then a version with Crytox 205 grade zero. The, um, this is the unlubed, this is the G lube, and then this is the Crytox. The Gateron Yellow has Crytox, and the Holy Panda also has Crytox. So we'll be able to kind of tell a little bit of a difference between the way that those sound, and then I'll also describe the feeling uh, for you, and you should be able to kind of pick that up a little bit based off of the sound as well, um, if you're familiar with how, lubing, how the lubing process affects the way that switches feel. Um, we're going to just do a quick test with uh, each switch, the sound wise, and we're going to see how that plays out. And then eventually I'm going to put them in my board and we'll be able to see them um, side by side and hear how that affects the sound of a board as well. I'll be using my, um, my Idobel ID80 here, um, and those are going to go right there in the middle. And yeah, so let's kick it off. So we're gonna start off with the Novel Key Cream, Novel Key Cream switches here. That's kind of hard to say. And here is an unlooped switch. I'm gonna do one underneath the camera, one over in front of the mic for uh, all of the switches. So here is the unlooped. As you can tell, there's quite a bit of um, pinginess to it. The return of the stem is rather loud, um, and they're quite scratchy. Uh, a lot of people have told me that um, you know these are very smooth switches. I've seen this in a lot of different videos uh, on many different forums, but in my experience, these are actually cut quite scratchy when not looped. Um, now, I will admit that none of these are broken in, so maybe that is part of the problem here. Let's go ahead and check it out in front of the mic. That is the unlooped switch. Again, I would say it's rather scratchy. The spring inside is quite a bit pingy as well. Um, it is definitely better than the Gateron Yellow unlooped uh, that I, you know, in my experience. But, you know, I digress. So we're gonna move into the G Lube. So this is kind of also gonna serve as a, you know, as a G Lube review against Crytox 205 grade zero, a very common switch lubricant. The nice thing about G Lube is it's like 12 bucks for this massive container. I spent maybe $10 on this little tiny two mil, I believe it's two milliliter versus 10 milliliter. So, you know, you get a lot more with the G Lube. It may not be quite as good depending on your preference. Um, but we're going to go ahead and see how that works. So here is the G-Lube. In the mic. There you go. Um, I will say, significantly smoother when compared to the um, unlubed version of the Switch. There is a little bit of a return noise uh, as the switch comes back up, as the stem comes back up, but in my opinion, sometimes that's actually favorable. I kind of like the sound of switches when they have a little bit of noise. Uh, when they're dead quiet, it kind of takes away a little bit of the satisfaction for me. Now that is something that is entirely my preference. I know a lot of people are kind of the other way around on this. Let's go ahead and check out the Crytox 205 grade zero. In the mic. There you go. As you can tell with the Crytox, it's definitely quieter. I will say Crytox 205 grade zero feels quite a bit thicker. The It feels quite a bit thicker than the actual G Lube. And I'll show you the way that the G Lube looks. I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up very well. It, it is white from here, but uh, on appearance when actually using it, it kind of comes across as clear. Whereas in my experience with the Crytox, it is actually almost just pure white. Um, you probably can't see this very well. I don't have much left. Um, 
but I will say the G Loop feels and looks a lot lighter. Um, I am not familiar with any other type of lube, so it could be compared to something else, but I don't have that reference for you. Uh, my overall assessment of the G Lube is that it's it's solid. It is you know it's worth twelve bucks for this much lube. If you are a super enthusiast and, and really want to get you know, a very specific thing, obviously don't bother. Go for what you're used to or what you prefer the most if you're going to be putting that on an expensive type of switch. Uh, otherwise, if you're somebody that's going to be lubing something like, say, a Gateron Yellow, a cheaper switch, uh, there's no reason to spend a bunch of money on lube. You might as well go with the G Lube. Uh, you're going to get a very nice switch uh, for cheap. I mean, if you're going on a budget, that's a way to go. So let's check out, actually, the Gateron Yellow. Now, keep in mind, this does have the Crytox on it. Here we go. In the mic. There you go. Now, obviously, it's a little bit louder than the Novel Key Creams, a little bit quieter than the unlubed version of the cream, but definitely louder and has quite a bit more. Um, sound on the way down and on the way back up as opposed to both of the looped version of the cream. Still very smooth. I would say the overall smoothness between really between the Gateron and the Novel Keys. Um, I think the Gateron Yellow is smoother than the Novel Key Cream on lube with lube on the Gateron Yellow. However, the other two lubed variants of the creams is definitely smoother than the Gateron Yellow lubed. Uh, lastly, let's take a look at the Holy Panda. This way we can have a reference for the Holy Panda against um, a, a switch that uh, is a linear, so we can kind of tell the difference in sound between the linear versus the tactile um, switches. So you can kind of get a, a bit of a better reference there. Holy Panda. Holy, Pan Holy Panda has a, a significantly more clacky noise. Um, I love the Holy Panda. That's actually what's in my board that I'm going to put these in. Um, I just got the Novel Key Creams a few days ago, so not too experienced with them yet. I am excited to try out Linears. I'm probably going to be building a new board with those in it. But let's go ahead and throw these all in the board, and we can, get, we can uh, take a look at how they sound in an actual mech. So... Keep in mind, we're going to have Crytox on the far left. The next one will be the, the G Lube, then the regular switch, unlubed. Then we'll have the Gateron Yellow, and then the Holy Panda. And that way, we can get a very accurate assessment of the way that these all sound. The keycaps that I'm running on this specific mech are the KBD fans uh, NP profile keycaps. Um, just got these as well. I'm absolutely in love with the way these things look and feel. Highly recommend. Um, we're going to be using F through K here, and I will do a sample of all of those one by one. Let's go ahead and get this centered in the middle. So uh, there we go. Okay. Starting with the very middle here, this is going to be the Novel Key Cream Unlubed. There we go. Let's go for the Novel Key Cream lubed with G Lube. All right, now we'll do the Novel Key Cream with Crytox. Um, between the three, I'm going to do a quick uh, two tap of each so you can kind of get the sound side by side. Clearly the sound profile of the Crytox version is a bit deeper and also keep in mind it is farther to the side of the board so it's going to have naturally a deeper sound just because of the position. But I would like to think that the Crytox is actually kind of dampening that quite a bit. It's a lot thicker of a lube. Makes sense. Um, the 
unlubed version has a bit of noise to it that is mitigated by both of the loops. Um, yeah, that has been covered up by the G-loop quite a bit. It's that scratchy pingy noise that you get from the slider of the stem going down as well as the spring in there. Now let's try the Gateron Yellow. The Gateron has quite a bit of a difference uh, in terms of the uh, going down as well as a return noise on the stem there. It's a bit louder on the ends of it, whereas in the middle it is very smooth. It's kind of kind of a strange phenomenon there. Overall, the Crytox novel key is by far the smoothest that I've experienced with this. And then lastly, we have the Holy Panda. We'll do some Holy Pandas here. Much louder. So overall, my general assessment after we take a you know a review of all of these um, together, I do think that the Crytox is the best feeling and sounding in my opinion. It is very soft feeling and sounding. Um, it is pretty muted. If you prefer a faster switch, the G Lube is kind of the trick if you want a nice solid fluid sound um, that has no pinginess to it the G Lube does a good job and then I would not honestly not recommend unlooped versions of the novel key creams now keep in mind it is going to probably still be better than you know base um, Gateron yellows or you know Cherry MX Reds things like that but I personally would definitely invest in the lube if you're spending $65 on switches you should probably invest in you know at least $12 worth of G lube that's going to get you through probably three or four keyboards if not more um, it's definitely worth the investment and that's what uh, $3 per keyboard something like that definitely worthwhile to make your board feel and sound a lot better I do think the G-Lube is a good purchase, honestly. Um, I probably will end up doing the rest of my creams with the G-Lube, even though I do like the Crytox a bit better. I don't want to have to fork out, you know, another um, bit of money for the Crytox here when I think the G-Lube is relatively comparable. So I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, let me know if there's anything else you would like me to test. Um, let me know how you think the keyboard's looking and sounding. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks, guys.